Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronnie Sweet and a tutorial. And in this tutorial, I want to show you guys the best way to use your mixer brush tool to do skin retouching in Photoshop and why your mixer brush tool is not showing you the best skin texture or why you're not getting the best details out of your skin retouching every single time you're doing your skin retouching in Photoshop. So if at all haven't hit the like button on this video, make it a point that you hit the like button on this video so that YouTube can push it to more people out there. So you may be wondering why I'm having a different kind of interface on my Photoshop. I at one point don't have my usual computer and I just had to opt and make a tutorial for you guys using my older version of Photoshop. So we're going to be getting the best results using the very same or a different kind of computer. So this doesn't matter. Only what matters is having a computer with Photoshop to you. So right now we're in the inf interface of Photoshop and Remember, we just want to learn how to use the best settings for a mixer brush tool when you are trying to do skin retouching. So, usually if at all you don't know the basis of everything, you always have to come and make sure that you know every single thing about the mixer brush tool and frequency separation in general. So usually when you're using frequency separation, we divide the image into the high frequency and the low frequency. So we're just going to come to the background layer right here. And we're going to create those two layers right there by dragging and dropping on this new layer icon and we're going to name this low and we're going to name the other layer high so as you may know the low frequency layer contains the colors and the skin tones and the high frequency layer contains this, the skin textures or the outlines of the image so i'm just wanting to take you towards or back to understanding frequency passion because this is going to determine the amount of skin textures that you're going to be retaining when you're using the mixer brush tool in Photoshop. So usually we turn off the high frequency layer and we just turn it off and select the low frequency layer. Then we come right here to filter and we come right to blur. Just come here to blur and we come all the way to Gaussian blur right here. I hope you can see this. So when you come to Gaussian blur, usually we tend to blur out the details within the skin. So you have to look for the area that has the most details in the image. So for this case, I think I'm just going to zoom out. I think this area has more skin details than the rest of the skin. So we have to blur out or remove these details from the skin area by moving this radius slider just like that. And we have to stop at that point when we're just starting to lose out on the details in the image so i'm just going to take this a little bit higher so i think at around seven that's when i'm starting to lose out on the details remember the details you lose out right here are the details you're going to be remaining with when you start using the mesa brush tool to blend or even out the skin tones in the images so you have to stop at that point and you don't have to cram this radius because different images have different levels of details or different levels of sharpening and different photos are captured by cameras that have different sensors and you may be having more or less details depending on the sensor size of your camera or the amount of megapixels your camera is able to capture in an image so this shouldn't be crammed so you have to analyze and look at the image and you blur out depending on the image you have at your disposal just come and hit ok so next thing we just want to come to the high frequency line and we, when we turn it back on we only want to remain with the textures on this high frequency layer, like I said at the start of this tutorial. So just come here to image and come down to apply image. And as you can see, we have a 16-bit image. And this is also going to be determining, determining rather the results you have in the image. So you're going to be having the apply window option right here open for you. And after doing that, just come and select the layer from which you want to subtract the textures. Uh, by clicking on this layer icon and choose the layer from which we are subtracting the details which is the low frequency layer selected and the channel measure it is in RGB and since we have a 16-bit image the blending mode is going to be add make sure the opacity is 100 uh, preserve transparency and mask are not checked make sure that the scale is 2 and offset is zero and make sure that you put on 
the invert option and when you do this you're going to notice that this is going to create for you the textures on this gray kind of layer which is 50 percent but if at all you have an 8-bit image you have to come and change and make sure the invert option is not checked change the blending mode to subtract make sure opacity is at 100 the scale is to offset 128 make sure to preserve transparency and mask are not checked and simply hit ok and you have the same results but if at all I'm using a 16-bit image. I'm just going to change this back to what we had before. Change it to add. Scale is to offset 0. I turn on the invert and hit OK. So right now we have uh, our textures on this square kind of layer. So just come right here to the blend mode and change it from normal to linear light to have the image back the way it was meant to be. So I'm just going to put these two in a group by selecting them and clicking on Ctrl or, or Command. I'm going to drag them into this folder like I can't put them in a group and I could double click right there and I name this to FS for frequent separation. So after opening the group, right now we just want to learn how to use the mixer brush tool which is the most and the biggest emphasis for today's tutorial. So when you come right here, you can see we have the low frequency and the high frequency layer. So remember we just want to even out the skin tones using the mixer brush tool. And remember skin tones are part of skin color which is in the low frequency layer. So just come and select the low frequency layer. Make sure it is highlighted and come and look for your mixer brush tool. I guess mine is around here. You can see I've now selected the mixer brush tool. Make sure it is a clean brush. So right now we're just looking at the settings for the mixer brush tool. So make sure the hardness is all the way to zero. And make sure it is a clean brush as you can see. And make sure you select the second option, which is clean the brush after each and every stroke. And when it is selected, you're going to notice that it is going to make that look black. Or that selection is going to be darker in color than this. Then the weight you are going to be using is 9%, load 75, mix at 90%, and the flow at 100. So before using a mixer brush tool, make sure this option right here is not checked. Because when you check this option... And you make sure when you check it and you have a tick right here and you increase on the size of the, the mixer brush tool and you start painting you can see that it creates that kind of rough texture in the image I'm just going to undo that by hitting command Z it creates that kind of roughness because this is selecting the brush is selecting all the layers in the image which is also including the high frequency layer and that layer contains the texture. That's why when you come and start painting, it co it works on both the colors right here. That is in the low frequency layer and this and just add them and paste them into the image. That's why you can see we have this kind of roughness or rough texture in the image. So in order to work with your mixer brush tool well, you either have to come and make sure you have a whole player that is going to help you to see those uneven areas or areas that have uneven skin tone transitions remember skin retouching is more of evening out the areas that have uneven skin tone transitions and when we blend those areas we end up with a retouched image but that is not all about skin retouching it also involves removing blemishes or skin imperfections so i just going to come to the measure the high frequency layer selected and in order to create a layer on top of this I'm going to come to the adjustments and come to black and white. So when you click on black and white, we come to the red channel and simply darken the reds. So this is how you can create a whole player. And right now you can see areas that have uneven skin tone transitions. You can see right here beneath the eye and right on the forehead. But if at all you don't want to use a black and white layer and you don't want to create it, just come and delete it. But before I proceed to that you can see when you select a black and white layer don't forget to come back and select the low frequency layer and highlight it remember you're going to be using a mixer brush tool to blend out the uneven skin tone transitions that are in the low frequency layer so just come and make sure you select it after putting a black and white layer or that kind of help layer but if at all you don't have it just come and delete this make sure you come back and select the low frequency layer and in order to see better the areas that have uneven skin tone transitions, just come and simply 
turn off the high frequency and I know this looks a little bit awkward but it is a better way and as you can see right now the image is blurry but right now you can see those same areas that have an even skin tone transition so you can either increase on the size of a mixer brush tool by using the left and the right brackets on the keyboard or the open and close brackets on the keyboard and in order to apply it make sure you left click on a particular area so you left click and hold down your cursor and you can start moving that brush within that direction i hope you can see so you have to blend the colors that are looking alike in a particular area so reduce on the size depending on the area you want to work on and remember as you're doing this make sure you don't use the same size of a brush make sure you keep on increasing or decreasing on the size of your mixer brush tool depending on the areas you're trying to work on so just come and do that and you can see i'm just blending this highlight alone because that area is a little bit brighter and when it comes to the edges where the highlight is meeting some mid-tones i'm just going to blend that area so that everything can fit within so when i come back and turn on the high frequency layer and i turn this on and off you can see the difference it has just made but we still have the original skin texture in the image so let me just work on a different area reduce on the size and come and blend this area you can see it has just gotten rid of that area that had an even skin tone transitions and has really disappeared and you can come to this other side and also even out those areas so remember you're only blending or mixing colors that are looking alike in the image so just come and blend those colors just like that and come to the shadows and just mix those colors that are alike and where those color, colors are tending to uh, be different and transition into another color, just come and mix that border. So when it comes to the nose area, you can see I'm blending the shadow in this left-hand side of the nose and also skipping the highlight and blending the right-hand side of the nose just like that. And coming to this other side and also working on this other side just like that. So I hope you can see this. So when you turn on the high frequency layer and we look at the areas we have just worked on, you can see the before and after, before, after, and it is retaining the original skin details in our image. So this is the best way you can work with the Mixer Brush tool to get you the best results from your images. And after you have applied the Mixer Brush tool there, remember that those areas you may miss out accidentally when you are using Mixer Brush tool. That's why I can always recommend that you apply the lasso tool to your images or to your frequency separation after you have applied the mixer brush tool by simply coming back and selecting the lasso tool. Further, I'm just going to be using 23 and make sure new selection mode is active right here. And alas is selected and select mask is just selected and you can come and simply apply the lasso tool technique. And remember we are only selecting are uh, the skin area just like that and come to filter and come to blur and come down to gaussian blur and you can move this radius but usually i have a cheat code for you just move the radius up to a point when you feel like the text the skin texture is right for you but usually i i tend to multiply this by three and seven by three is 21 i'm just going to type in 21 and you can see I have a very natural and highly realistic skin texture for my image. So basically that is how you can work with the Mixer Brush tool and the Lasso tool. If at all you have learned something, something new from this tutorial, don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching and you haven't subscribed to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.